Hi, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Today I have a phone view from the Ecamm network. Now if you have a Mac and an iPhone, this would be perfect if you want to download your messages, um, check out your call logs, and uh, also you can download apps. My biggest thing was in iTunes, I could only download the photos that I had obviously in my photo library and also same thing with the photo stream getting them from iCloud was not always that easy so I wanted to get photos that were sent to me uh, to clear out memory since uh, the iPhone does not have an SD expansion slot but I didn't want to go through every single message and forward it so I was looking for a solution that would work with the Mac and my iPhone which is an iPhone 4 and I came across PhoneView now Ecamm has a, a a few different software titles that do different things. You can always check that out at Ecamm, uh, I believe Ecamm.com, E-C-A-M-M. -M. But this one was really going to be able to do what I had to. Installation was quite simple, extremely affordable, and it was really easy. All I had to do was just plug in the phone, open the software, and the software automatically detected my phone. And then I was able to bring the information from my phone right to my desktop or save it wherever I want it. So you can see on the disk it has the welcome to phone view, um, the PDF of how to actually use it. You have some archives um, if you want to archive, um, you know, get your archives, the, the messages and call log, logs if you're going to back that up, as well as you can always open up um, your iTunes backup. So if you do backup through iTunes, you have the ability to view this. So let me just show you real quick. Um, my phone is now connected. And if we want a copy to the phone, we can see our contacts. So you'll see all the contacts. We have contacts from the Mac, the iCloud contacts, as well as the contacts here. You can download the VCF of the contact. So if you want to copy this from the from the iPhone, we can save it as a VCF, like I said, and it will actually download to wherever you want it to go. I have our notes, which are in the iPhone notes. We also have the call log, which you can see who you called, how long, all that information right there. Really great to track this. And then we have all of our messages. You can see all the phone numbers from where the messages were. And then you can also see, you know, the photos that were part of it. So you can get all your SMS uh, messages. So if you want to do that, you can click on one image, perhaps, and it will open up the image. You can also go ahead, and if I click just one of these, because that was all, um, this is obviously just a, a Google one, but if you want just one of these, I could take this, and I can do copy from iPhone. And then, because there's no images in it, it will just say a PDF file. So you'll be able to download all the messages with the PDF, and it will look just like this here. And if you do have one that has images in it, and another prompt comes up, and it says, Save Media Items as Separate Files. So those will download as JPEGs, in addition to having the PDF file, or you can do these other versions as well, text files, have the limited CSV or XML files. This is just some of your web history from the phone that can download. You can also access all your voicemails. So I can go ahead and I can play it. And uh, we can hear it right there. And then you can also copy it from the iPhone if you want. This way you can just download everything and you know clean up your phone relatively easy. We can see the apps. I didn't download all the apps, but then you can always bring in whichever ones you want from there. And then we can go through music, videos, uh, podcasts, if you have other things, as well as uh, voice memos and any additional photos. And these are photos that are actually just on the phone. Some of them I took last night because I imported a lot of them. And the photos, actually, if you have a lot of photos, it will take a few minutes to download and sync everything. But it was really, really easy to do. Um, you know, getting the photos and the movies off the phone uh, from the normal photo section it's easy to do through like iPhoto or iTunes, but really having the options to access all this other information was really great. Um, I really enjoyed using PhoneView by Ecamm. Very easy to use, very straightforward, 
And uh, if you have a Mac, uh, I would definitely recommend checking out the demo if you're looking to download uh, photos and, and call logs and messages from your iPhone. I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe at right here on YouTube and also check us out at damngoodreviews.com.